friends. Okay, for this lesson, you are going to need your blue sharing book. It looks like this. I sent it home in your supply bag, okay? So go grab that right now. I think yours has your name on the front. You're gonna open it up to the first page, okay? The first page. This is called our sharing journal, okay? So you're gonna be doing this every single week on Mondays. And the reason why I'll tell you after, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna put mine here. Let's see, you can kind of see it. There we go. That's about as big as I can get it, friends. Um, that's okay. You will need a pencil. I am going to use a pen for mine, but you are gonna use a pencil, okay? Pencil, please. Okay, friends, first off, you're gonna be doing one of these every single week for every single letter. I'll show my face all I can. Okay, um, you're gonna be doing one of these for every single letter. And our letter of the week this week is B, right? Let's sing our B song, ready? B says B, B says B, butterfly, butterfly, B, B, B. Okay, so we're gonna do the letter B for our sharing journal this week. Um, you're gonna need a pencil and you're gonna need some coloring materials for down here and you're gonna get to find something special, okay? Let's start with reading, okay? You're gonna be reading this poem every single week, okay? So I'm gonna read it this week with you and I can help you out. Okay, ready? Get your pointer finger ready. Here we go. Capital B, lowercase b, lots of words begin with B. Here is a picture of a hmm that starts with B, okay? We're gonna read it one more time and you're gonna follow along in your book. So you're gonna take your book and you're gonna put it flat on the table and use your pointer finger. I'm gonna point up here, but we're gonna read it together, okay? Do the best you can, try your best. Here we go, ready? I'll read it a little slower with you, ready? Capital B, lowercase b, lots of words begin with B. You with me so far? Good job, make sure you come down to the next line. Here we go. Here is a picture of a hmm that starts with B. Okay, friends, your next step is to get your pencil. Pencil. I'm going to use my pen. Okay. I'll use blue because blue starts with B. Okay, go. It's hard for you to see. There we go. All right. You're gonna take your pencil and you're gonna start by doing your tracing first. Now I wanna see your best handwriting, okay? Remember, with a B, you go down and then you do two arounds, okay? Notice how my B is not dancing. It is on the line. That's your capital B. Now it's time for your lowercase b, okay? You do a line down and then one around, okay? Oops, it's a little dancing. Fix that, good job. Okay. Next, you're gonna do an uppercase and a lowercase. So again, down, around, around, and again, down and around. Phew, it's a lot of handwriting already. Next, you're gonna come down to here. We're gonna skip this one for right now. You're gonna come down to here and do it one more time. Ready? Down, around, around, down and around, okay? I did a pretty good job. If you need to, since you're using a pencil, you can always erase and try again. No problem. Okay, friends, the part that we're missing is, here is a picture of a hmm that starts with B. In this hmm spot, you get to go find something that starts with B. It can be anything in your house. So let's think of some things you might have in your house. Let's see. <gasps> I bet some of you might have Bananas in your house, so you might get a banana. I bet some of you might have a baseball or a ball in your house, right? If you like to play ball, or maybe you might even have some balloons or a brother, a baby, something like that. I'm going to pick the word book because that's what I have in my classroom. In fact, friends, I have a Big book. Do you want to see how big it is? I don't know if you're ready. Okay. Oh, look how big this book is. Look at it. Look how big it is. Everyone say, whoa, it's so big. Okay, I'm going to put it back down here. So I'm going to use that as my, and I dropped my marker somewhere. That's okay. I'll just grab a different color. Okay. 
In fact, I'll just grab a pen. Okay, anyway, so I have my big book. So now I have to think about what I'm gonna put here in this space. I'm just gonna write the word book, okay? Let's think what book starts with, okay? B -b 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 -b. A B, yes, of course. Your object does have to start with the letter of the week. So if we were to do other ones, you might do, you were gonna do a different letter, but right now we're starting with B. So we're gonna go B. And I know this because I've been practicing my spelling for a long time. And it's okay if you don't spell things correctly. It's no problem. It's totally fine for you to make mistakes. Some of us are just learning how to spell and that's okay. But I know since I've been spelling for a long time that book, the second sound, b, uh, k, the second sound is an uh. That's two letters together. It's going to be o and o. Here is a picture of a boo. I'm not a boo. I'm missing a sound. What sound am I missing? Boo. It's going to be a K, friends. That's not exactly my best writing, but I'm having a hard time writing sideways. But that's what I wrote. Here's a picture of a book that starts with B. So guess what I'm going to do now? Down here, I'm going to draw a picture of my big book. Okay, so I'm gonna try my best to make it as realistic as possible. So I'm gonna put it right here. So let's see, it's a big book, so I'm gonna make sure it's big. And it's kind of crooked, but that's okay, I'm trying my best. If I was using pencil like you guys are, I could totally erase it and start again. Okay, there we go. And the book is called, I Like Me. Now I'm gonna write it sideways. I can't write sideways, so let me do it here, ready? I like me. Oh, there's an exclamation point. See, I did my best for writing. I like me. Do you see I'm trying to write it very similarly? Almost the same. Now this is the tricky part. There is a picture of a pig. Okay. Well, let's see. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to do my best, friends. In fact, I'm going to get down on my knees here to help me. Okay. So I know that pigs have a nose that looks like th that's a big nose. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Okay, here's the nose, here is the head, and the ears, right, and the rest of the head is here. Okay, I'm going to do the eyes, and I'm going to do the sh shirt, I guess she's wearing a dress, okay, she's wearing a big puffy dress, like this, like that, has some lines here. Oh, I forgot to connect her head to her dress. Oh no. And then her arms are up like this. And she has hooves. And goes down. Oh, that looks so silly. Friends, I'm really trying my best, but you know, Miss Nielsen has kind of a hard time with drawing. Okay. All right, let's try this again. We're gonna go up and up and down. <laughs> Friends, I'm trying my best. She also has a big smile because she's saying how much she likes herself. So there's my smile. All right, well, you know what? If I was not trying to give you an example, I would do a much better job. I know that you guys are going to be a better artist than I am. And then the outside of the book looks like this. Whoa. All right, now that looks more like a picture frame. So I'm also going to draw a little top here to show. Oops, I went out of the, he went out of the lines. Everyone's like, Miss Nielsen, get it together. Here's the lines for the pages. Okay, friends, does it look like a book? I hope so. It doesn't look quite exactly like my book. Now, if I were you, I would also take the time to color and make this super pretty because then guess what, friends? Sit back up on my chair. On each day next week, you are going to, someone is going to share their writing. So every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we're going to cut out about five minutes or so during a certain time. I'll let you know when it's going to be. And you're going to share your writing with your friends. Kind of like when we have attendance and I call your name 
and that person stands up and said, like answers a question and says, I'm here. It's going to be just like that, except the person's going to stand up and they're going to go to the front of the class, right? Or the front of their Zoom screen and they're going to read it. So I can read like this and you're welcome to do that if you'd like to. If you can hold it and read sideways or you can hold it like this and then show us your picture. So I'll show you this way since some of you might do it like this. Capital B, lowercase b. Lots of words begin with B. Here is a picture of a book that starts with B. Okay, and you're gonna share that with your friends. And I'm just gonna remind you, and I will remind you during your presentations too. Do we go like this? Can you see me? Capital B. No. Do I read like this? No, no way, Jose. We wanna use a nice clear voice, okay? A nice clear voice. And you want to make sure you're not covering your beautiful face because we want to see your beautiful face, okay? So when you finish this, you're going to take a picture of it, okay, either on your computer or with a phone, it's up to you, and you're going to upload it to Seesaw so I can see your beautiful work, okay? Sound good? Alrighty-roo, my friends. Good luck!